Oh yeah, frigid temperatures. They're uh, they're here in case you haven't noticed, and it's a good time to make sure your home's pipes are safe before we hit zero outside. Today's CI Home sponsor is Matex, and Mike Nicholson, president, is joining us now. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, so it is darn right chilly outside, right. and it's only going to get worse this weekend. So we're talking frozen pipes, how we can prevent that. So give me your best tips. I think the best tips is that if you know it's going to get really cold outside, if you have a sink on an outside wall, go ahead and just open up the cabinets. What that allows is some of the, ho the heat inside the house. It goes in the cabinet, helps keep those pipes warmer. Uh, the other good tip is, is that if you know this faucet may freeze, just drizzle a little bit of water through that because moving water uh, has a tendency not to freeze. Now, are there other, uh, you mentioned, you know, sinks on an outside wall. Are there problems specifically in basements or crawl spaces that we could run into issues as well? Yeah, if, if you have a crawl space, especially want to make sure you have closed those vents. And some people even put insulation over the, the vents to just to help keep the cold air from blowing in over the pipes. What is the um, importance of shutting off your drained irrigation systems outside? How important is that? That's real important because those pipes can break. And then when it comes to summertime, and we get ready to use your irrigation system, all your pipes are broken. So when you say broken, like broken in half, like split, like cracked, yeah, they usually, what exactly do you mean? They usually split longwise. Mm. But that sounds like a mess. Yeah. <laughs> are, there th are there other things you can do that are maybe slightly more permanent solutions rather than, you know, cracking the, the cabinet door to let air in there? Are there wraps or heaters or other things that we can add to try to, you know, prevent this problem? Yeah, a simple thing is that we have seen uh, or we have done is that you just put an electric heat uh, tape around a pipe that's meant for it. But where that problem always comes in, you always have to have an electrical source to plug that in. Uh, the other thing is if you do have freezing pipe problems, the more permanent solution is, is actually to reroute the water lines further away from the wall. That sounds like a perhaps a more expensive solution. Yes. Well, it seems like back in the day, I remember my dad putting on like, it looked like those like swimming pool noodles. You know, they're, they're like sort of a styrofoam thing that yes. are split and they go up over yes. the pipes. Does, does that sort of help as well? It does help some. What so. that does, it keeps the cold from hitting the pipe directly. But again, if you're running the water through there, the water is still warmer uh, than the outside air, so it does not freeze. Well, we are gearing up for tomorrow's big fundraiser for yes. See You at Home, One Winter right. Night. Yes. And you are actually participating and have a special offer for your customers. Yes, so what we are doing, we have a matching offer out there. So we are matching up to $1,500 in uh, sponsors. How does donations. that work? Yeah, tell us how that works, though. They so donate through you, your link, ours. It, it would still be through... Um, see you at home so what it is it's a matching donation so what we're trying to do is to match that donation up to fifteen hundred dollars Oh. all right and these are your customers currently nope. or anybody. Anybody? Any, any, anybody anybody can match those funds what about this um, $25 of their service fees to go towards see you at home how yeah what is so that what about? we've been doing too it's um it's a promotion is that if you just ask we will um, uh, they will still get charged the full amount, but we take $25 of that bill and we put that towards uh, CU at home. So they don't get charged an extra 25 No. Wow. All well, right. that's nice. Yeah. Well, are you all got your box ready? I hear you're going to be out yes. there with us. Yes, we are. You got your heat, heat war hand warmers ready? I my hand, hand warmers. I pulled out my sleeping bag. I got to <laughs> check it to see what it looks like. <laughs> Well, we look forward to seeing you out there thank tomorrow. You. And yes. uh, thanks for all you're doing, not only for our community in terms of keeping our pipes unfrozen, but uh, for See You at Home as well. All right, thank you. Yeah. You got it. We will connect you with all the details and their Facebook page, website, etc. at ciliving.tv.